All right, still to come at uh, six o'clock, we're going to take you step by step through the training of a canine officer. Yeah, because police departments are trying to figure out how what to do with canine officers that are trained specifically in drug detection. Ken Baker has more in a story you'll only see right here on Fox 19 now. He's fixated and he, he wants to go after that suspect. They're fast, smart and highly trained. Uh, you'd never want to experience their bites. So this is Maverick. But they can be gentle enough to track down the smallest of children. He just turned one in February. This bloodhound is the newest member of the Boone County Canine Team. He's been working with his handler, Deputy Dave Heyman, since October. One that he sent specific. He's he's a uh, tracking trailing dog. He doesn't apprehend anybody. Maverick is one of five canine officers on the team. Each has its own specialty, and some can do just about everything. Uh, so this is canine Leroy, um, and we're going to demonstrate how he would locate narcotics on the uh, street. Across the country, law enforcement officers use drug detection dogs like this to establish probable calls. If uh, Teddy ends up uh, stopping a vehicle on the interstate and suspects that there might be narcotics in, in the vehicle, and he may ask to search the vehicle if they say no, he has this tool right here that he can do a free air sniff around the vehicle. Okay. Uh, and then if his dog alerts to that vehicle, then that would give us probable cause to search that vehicle. While in Kentucky, weed remains illegal for dogs like Leroy in Cincinnati, who specialize in locating narcotics and more specifically weed, their future is a little lost in the haze. Um, what we're seeing now is they're going to have to figure out how we're going to be able to use them. Um, and once this law does go into effect, uh, the dogs that are trained to detect marijuana will not no longer be used you know, to establish probable cause. Ken Cobra is the president of the Fraternal Order of Police for Queen City Lodge number 69. He says the passage of Ohio's 2023 issue two is reshaping the war on drugs and specifically the role of drug detecting dogs because smoking weed is now legal in the state. They won't be able to search a car you know, to give an officer probable cause to search the car. At this point, you may wonder why there's so much uncertainty concerning these dogs and their use in Ohio. It's they're trained on very specific odors. Uh, and when they search a vehicle you know, or search an area and they alert to the presence of it, we don't know what they're actually alerting to. In other words, you can't tell a canine officer that has been trained to alert to weed to wipe that smell from its memory banks when out sniffing for contraband. So moving forward in Ohio, if a department hasn't already, most dogs will stop being imprinted with marijuana, meaning a lot of new dogs will have to be brought in, which can come at a hefty price. The departments uh, that are affected uh, could go out and, and get a new, uh, new dog, train them, equip them, uh, so we can continue to uh, ensure that uh, uh, the canines are out on the beat and keeping our community safe. Sean Patrick Brennan, state representative for Ohio District 13, is the author of House Bill 396. It's currently working its way through the legislative process. It's one time money, uh, so uh, this is this would not be a sustained uh, program. Brennan says a list from the Ohio Peace Office Training Academy shows 298 dogs could be out of a job due to weed legalization. His bill, if passed, would give each agency a $20,000 grant to replace each dog that has to be retired. Brennan says his bill was authored after seeing other states like Virginia and Massachusetts have to remove dogs from law enforcement service due to weed legalization. So how would all of this impact local police departments like right here in Cincinnati? We have about five dogs right now that are trained uh, to detect marijuana. Um, what we will do moving forward once this law goes into effect as uh, they just won't be used on vehicle searches. If there's a search warrant of a house, a building, um, you know, obviously probable cause has already been established, so they will use them there. I reached out to the law enforcement arm of the state to find out its recommendation, and the attorney general's office provided this following statement. It reads in part, quote, decisions on what will happen to marijuana sniffing dogs will be made individually by departments with the help of their legal counsel. While it sounds like everyone will be playing it by ear until Ohio's weed infrastructure is in play, one thing remains certain for these dogs back over in Kentucky. As it stands right now, weed is still illegal in Kentucky for the remainder of 2024, and so um, we're, we're going to continue to enforce it, and I think that the public should, should really understand that.